Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those melodramatic fools, neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. Sometimes I give myself the creeps. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm crazy. Hey, what's up everybody? I really hope you enjoyed that cover. Now, this is a new section of my upcoming videos that I'm going to be trying to include pretty much every time. Um, you guys have really asked for uh, a smaller setup. Like, I played the big kit for a little while and everyone thought that was awesome and fun for a little bit. But you wanted me to break it down into a smaller kit so that a lot of you out there, when I'm playing something, you can take that directly and put it on your kit. And so, today is the first video that I'm going to start doing pretty much a new setup for like every video. I really wanted to switch it up, change it up, show you some different configurations, give you some ideas for setups and stuff, and really just challenge myself to come up with some interesting things. Now, at the end of each video that I do these setups in, I really want to uh, kind of tell you guys a little bit about it, let you know what drums I'm playing where and stuff like that, so that you can uh, take it home, try it out yourself, or just in case you're interested. Uh, as always, it's always listed down in the description, like my complete setup and everything. but. For today, uh, I am playing on the Pearl Export Series, the new EX EXX Export Series. Um, this is a four-piece kit compared to the normal seven-piece that I play. I've got my 14 by 5.5 inch snare here. Then I've got a 12 inch by 9 inch, 9 uh, inch depth tom mounted on a snare stand. And then over here I have a 16 by 16 inch floor tom and a 22 by 18 inch kick drum. And uh, these are all the export series in jet black. For cymbals today I am playing the Zildjian A series. They completely redesigned the line and uh, they did a lot of really cool improvements to them. Over on the right, looks like I knocked off the top of my cymbal during that. Um, not the cymbal, but the, the topper. So I was playing pretty hard. Um, this is the 20 inch Zildjian A series Thin Crash. 
really large, really open sounding cymbal. And then over here, we've got the 18 inch Zildjian A series medium thin crash. And then right here is the monster, the 23 inch Zildjian Sweet Ride. That thing is just an absolute beast. On the left side here, I've got the 10 inch A Splash. And then I've got the 14 inch New Beat Hi-Hats from the A series. On the floor, I'm playing the Pearl Demonator double pedals. I've got the H930 hi-hat stand that has the footboard that matches the double pedals. You might be able to see that. And then on the drums, I've got coated Emperors on the toms and Emperor X on the snare. And then I always forget, I think this is the uh, Power Sonic bass. Uh, I've tried out a few different bass drum heads, so I always forget which one I have on there. But that's the Remo Power Sonic bass head. And then today I was trying out some new sticks. These are the Extreme 5As by Vic Firth. And basically it's like a 5A that's a little more beefy, a little more heavy hitting. And uh, they felt really good for being heavier sticks. I like to play kind of a, a not too heavy of a stick. And these, these are a little bit beefier than the ones I normally play. And they felt good. So that is the setup for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm also going to be including a featured drummer in all of my new videos. So. Uh, I really want to help out you guys out there and uh, send some people over to your channel to check you out. So make sure you leave a comment saying you'd like to be the featured drummer and put the ending portion of your YouTube URL to your favorite video that you want me to post at the end of the, at the, end of the clip. I won't post audio, but I'll show the video of it. And then they can click on the annotation and go to your channel to check it out. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this setup. Let me know in the description if you want me to continue to do these mismatched different kinds of setups and try out a bunch of new stuff. As you can see, I don't have anywhere to put all the other symbols I took off the kit, really, so they're up against the wall for now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with them. I took the kit apart last night, but I'm going to be swapping those in and out. I've got the A Customs, the K Custom Hybrids and stuff, and we'll be switching them out and trying out a bunch of different symbols and a bunch of different setups. So thanks for watching, and as always... Subscribe for some more, check out some more videos, and let me know if you got any ideas for future covers down in the bottom. I uh, love requests, love to try and do as many as I can, so send them my way. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.